Alright guys, so in this video we're checking out the Sky Stars Cramium All-in-One Flight Controller. It's a whoop style flight controller, 25.5mm by 25.5mm. Looks kind of similar to a lot of other whoop style boards out there. So you got the sort of interesting cutouts here and a completed hole on the outside. You can take these off if you don't want the circle completed. You do have big solder pads for your motor wires which is nice and they kind of stick out the edge here so if uh, you are one of those people that have a hard time soldering these tiny tiny pads this is going to be one of those boards that's going to be very useful for you because they, a lot of the other um, all-in-one flight controllers are very difficult to solder you get the motor plugs if you do happen to want to use that as an option but they're only vertical they're, they don't include the horizontal um, motor plug option I guess it's because obviously the uh, mounting holes right here that's going to get blocked so you know, you know some of the I think uh, some of the newer beta FPV boards have the um, motor plugs on the side of the board over here so you can have either vertical or horizontal mounting you get 20 gauge uh, battery wire here XT30 uh, 25 of uh, volt 220 microfarad capacitor some rubber grommets and some heat shrink so it does come complete to wire up now this says it's a 15 amp continuous uh, ESC, but these ESCs just look like standard BB2 ESCs I've seen on a lot of their boards. In fact, um, here's the latest uh, beta FPV board. This is their uh, version 2.0. If you're curious, um, not a lot of difference between uh, the version 1 and the version 2. They just have a uh, black box chip on here now, so you can I want to do black box recording, so some of these guys I want to do tuning, this is going to be really useful. Bigger pads on here, but if you look at the layout, pretty similar. So I think they have copied a lot of the beta FPV board here, where the chips are, the MP6000, the uh, F4 chip, beta flight OSD. Obviously the SkyStars doesn't have your black box chip there, it's missing. Get your regulator there, so it's a 5 volt, uh, 1.5 amp uh, voltage regulator with an LC filter. And you see where all the components are, are really similarly laid out, and also on the bottom. So, of course, you know, it's got the US, this, you know, USB port that's sticking at the bottom, not on the side, like some of the newer ones. So, like this is also a USB port coming out of the bottom. But if you look at the layout of the chips, almost identical so they probably you know they probably have the schematic or something and they've reproduced that now some of the differences here are going to be like you know, the soldering pads for the receiver wires here for example and also down here um, and also where the, the battery plug comes out so on the BFP board comes out here on the sort of the side of the USB port over here but on the sky storage board it's coming out of the, the bottom here so I'm not sure if I like that too much because you know there's a lot a lot of material here and the way the power is coming through and it's right next to the mounting holes here so it could be pretty dangerous and also you could if you want to you could cut off this edge if you want to as well to not complete that circle so I'm not not sure if I like that too much we'll have to see how that performs in flight but all the solder pads are pretty Pretty decent, um, and on a pretty decent size, and they're in the same places. So you got your buzzer pads here, five volt ground LED T1 that's for smart audio, um, and you have video in, video out over here. Your receiver plug or receiver connections are going to be on the top. So ground five volts a signal over there, and then you have R2 and T2 here for your second UART. Now they have this uh, pad here, a solder bridge pad. For DSM, so that's for going to be for DSM or IBUS or anything that's not inverted, because the signal pad here for the receiver is inverted, and if you want to uninvert it for Spectrum or for FlySky, you have to bridge these two pads here, and then that will turn that into an uninverted pad. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, 15 amps is different because uh, you know it looks the same as these Beta FPV ESCs. But this one's 12 amps, we're seeing to 15 amps, but this is 15 amps continuous. So I'm not sure what the difference is. And again, you know, ESC readings are kind of a, you know, 
<laughs> not really a science. I'm not really sure exactly how they do that, but uh, yeah, they're saying this is 15 amps. The price on this is pretty decent. It's like $32 right now at the time of recording this video. So, you know, um, for those of you guys that are very hard on your equipment, you know, you crash a lot, um, you you have like, basically you're on the edge of the ESCs where you have like uh, big motors and um, high-pitched props where you're really pushing the ESCs to their maximum limit, then, you know, you probably want to go for more expensive brands, uh, more expensive uh, flight controllers, you know, um, that's going to be able to take the abuse. If you're not as picky, uh, not as abusive, uh, don't crash as much, um, you know, stay under the limits. Like, for example, if you're going to get this and you're, you know, well under 10 amps, then I don't think there's a, you know, not likely you'll be blowing any ESCs in this one. I, necess I always tell people go for price in that case, you know, if you're not really super um, hard on your equipment, then just get the, whatever's the most economical versus the, uh, you know, the highest cost. Yeah, so if you're looking to build a cheaper toothpick or a whoop style drone, then uh, check this one out. It's pretty inexpensive and, you know, it's got all the same features as the Beta FPV board, obviously without the black box chip, of course, but um, it's pretty reasonable in terms of cost. I'll have to see how it does in flight and everything. I'm going to put this into a build pretty soon, not sure exactly when, just got this, so, um, yeah, yeah, thanks to the, uh, subscriber who pointed this out and asked to have this reviewed, and I will have this into a build pretty soon and let you guys know how this does. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video, if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.